Hello and welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin. Cadbury has come out fighting again with an upbeat trading statement which sends a message to would-be buyer Kraft. The world famous Bourneville chocolate maker told investors this morning that quarterly sales have risen by 7% compared with last year. This comes against the backdrop of plans for a hostile takeover from American rival Kraft. I'm here with Deputy Head of Business, Graham Brown, who's been following the story since Kraft made its approach in early September. So Graham, what have Cadbury said this morning? Well, as you say, it's been, uh, it has been—it was an impressive statement. They said that, uh, as you said, it's 7% up the, on the quarter compared to the same time last year. Um, we've written a lot lately about the fact that Cadbury's has been pretty much recession proof. People still like to treat themselves during the recession, they're still paying for chocolate, and Cadbury's have been performing well over the last uh, few months. But this even compares pr um, favourably to that. It's two percent up uh, on on the quarter before and six percent up on last quarter. So, you know, it's it's uh, there are some seriously significant figures, and as you said, comes against an important backdrop. Cap Cabris wanted today to sort of send out a message that they are a strong independent company, and this, this is a good way of doing it. And so, what what do these figures mean for the the takeover? Well, I think it bolsters uh, it bolsters Cadbury's position really. Um, Roger Carr, their chairman, said that that this is sort of evidence that they're a strong standalone business this morning. And let's let's face it, they're right. There's not too many companies that are, that are are putting on such profit laden performances. They said this morning that they expect profits to go up. That said, Kraft themselves were an enormous company. They've now got until November the 9th to put in a firm bid or not. And I would expect that there's probably going to be more movement on this. Thanks, Graham. Well, there'll be more on that in tomorrow's post, as well as the latest news on the Royal Mail strikes and plans for regeneration of the part of Solihull. That's all from us today. See you tomorrow.